Welcome to the Parker Daniels Show, where we make changes, no excuses. What's up, Nicole? Hey, guys. How are you guys doing out there today? <laughs> you doing okay today? I am doing fabulous. You know what? The great, great, great. What's up? I really want some grilled food today. So what we got planned today? Well, we're going to take a trip to Missouri and speak with uh, a young man by the name of Chris Peltz. He's from Missouri. Uh, am I correct, Chris? Yes, sir. That's correct. And he has a YouTube channel called Blind Grilling. Um, you like, you like, can you grill, Nicole? You probably can't do nothing. I do not grill. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, you need to, well, Chris is going to teach us a little bit how 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 to grill and possibly after he finished he's going to email us some of the food but nicole i need to do a disclaimer right quick can i do that right quick yes you can okay uh for those who aren't aware of the scope of uh the parker daniel show i'm gonna briefly say that it is established to give blind visually impaired and decided the opportunity to share their stories and hope that it has uh some type of effect on others who may be experiencing the same or offering encouragement and that's just in short. So now that we got that out of the out of the way, Nicole, why don't you do the honors, my special, uh, lovely co-host, uh, of bringing on Chris Peltz from Blind Grilling? Can you do that for me, please? So, Chris, tell me a little bit about yourself, and tell me um, about how you lost your sight, if you don't mind. So, yeah, I, I don't mind at all. Um, Actually, when I was 10 years old, I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa. And uh, in, within the, about the first six years, I lost 80% of my vision. And uh, that, was, you know, that was back in 1984 when I was diagnosed. And I'm 44 now. And uh, my, I, uh, my vision has progressively gone to uh, where uh, I don't have any usable vision for about the past 12 years. And, uh, you know, if, if the sun is out in one eye, my right eye, I can tell if the sun is out. But okay. That's, mm. that's about it. Okay. So what have been some of your challenges as being a blind individual? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, there's, you know, the transportation and things of that nature and accessibility has been a, a huge challenge, um, you know, just relying on others for, you know, what used to be an everyday task that I would have to get help on. Um, and grilling was one of those things until, you know, I found some of the accessibility options that were out there. But, uh, you know, that, um, you know, it, it's challenging, you know, con uh, having conversations with people when, uh, you know, if you don't know if they're still standing in front of you or if they've walked away, I mean, there's, there's all kinds of challenges that we face, but, um, you know, probably the biggest challenge in my family has just been, you know what, if, uh, you know, grab hold and hold on tight, because if you, if we lose you, we'll just have to come back and get you. So if you want to do what we're doing, um, you know, hang on and, you know, let's go for a ride. So uh, I've been very fortunate. <laughs> having family around me that were uh, willing to help me along. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So the reason why you're on the show today is because you have found a way of grilling that makes grilling more easier and accessible for you. So I'm going to give you the floor and let you talk about your product. Okay. Yeah. So, um, with blind grilling, um, it, it, it began uh, probably about uh, 15 years ago when I was using a regular grill, you know, metal grill, and constantly burning myself. And my brother uh, came over one day and, and I was gonna grill some steaks for him and his family. And he just really started feeling sorry for me as I felt around the grill and would burn myself. And he knew about a grill that's called a big green egg that is a ceramic grill. And uh, the, the ceramic grill maintains the heat uh, so that I can touch the outside of it without burning myself. And so 
So he brought over one of those eggs and uh, showed me how to use it. Um, and it was still a little bit limiting because I had to have sighted help to read the temperature to me uh, until just a couple of years ago, a company called Flame Boss created a controller and made it accessible for the blinds that will connect to not only the big green egg, but other grills as well. And it, it connects through Wi-Fi to your phone so that I can use voiceover on the iPhone. Right. And uh, it, you know, it has a pit probe, so it will read to me the temperature of the pit. Uh, it has meat probes, so I know the temperature of my meat. And it also has a, a controller fan so that it, I can actually set the temperature on a charcoal grill and it will control the airflow uh, and I can monitor it and control that all with my iPhone or an Amazon uh, Alexa. Um, okay. I can control it with my voice. And so I don't have to have sighted assistance to use the grill anymore. Oh, wow, that is awesome. So real quick, will you take us and let us see what the green egg looks like, looks like and yeah. maybe um, do a quick grill demonstration for it? Yeah, absolutely. And, and um, in fact, uh, I've got something kind of set up for you guys. So we'll kind of show you. And I'll just have my daughter, she may grab the phone if she needs to. Uh, but right here, in fact, this world is setting at 350 degrees right now. And as you can see, my hands are on the grill and I'm leaving them on the grill. And so, um, you know, if it was a metal grill and it was sitting at 350 degrees, you would leave skin behind and you would not leave your hand on there very long at all. But I'm rubbing all over it. It's, it's good to go. Uh, it's warm, but it's not hot. Now, it's shaped like an egg and it's green. That's why they call it the big green egg. And kind of like, you know, with Easter coming up, um, those little Easter eggs that you open up in that in the middle, that's kind of the shape of this particular grill. And so oh, this cool. was the top half, and then it tapers down at the bottom where there's a vent for airflow. And I've got my flame boss hooked up to it, and it's controlling the egg. And so just open it up, and I've got some brats on here, but also, what I was going to show you is kind of a tip and some of the things that we do on our YouTube videos for tips. You know, when you're grilling and you can't see, sometimes a difficult thing is, you know, how do you flip hot dogs? How do you flip brats? Which is what I've got here. And so what I've done is I put them on a skewer. And so by having them on a skewer, I can actually grab just the skewer itself and, you know, put them on. Um, without having any issues, without having any problems. So, uh, and, and Chris, while, while you're doing that, for, for people like me and my audience who aren't aware of what brats are, can you educate us on that, what, what they were? So, yeah, I'm, a, a brat is, um, it's a casing. It's similar to a hot dog in shape. It may have a little bit more of a little curl to it, um, like a half moon shape. Uh, but it's in a casing and they take various meats, um, like types of sausage or beef. Uh, these are beef and cheddar brats. So inside that casing um, is, uh, you know, kind of like a sausage, like a sausage link that you wow. might get in similar to a hot dog. And, um, you know, the full name is bratwurst. Um, and so you grill them until that outside casing begins to crack just a little bit. Um, and, and I've got it down to timing, so I know uh, after 10 minutes to flip them and then another 10 minutes and they're usually good to go. Now your ske skewers, are they metal or are they wood? So I, I use metal skewers because you can get them where they're flat. Um, and that seems to make it just a little bit easier to turn over things like hot dogs and brats. Um, and so I'll, I'll use metal ones, but if you, you can use wood ones, just make sure you soak them so they don't catch on fire and burn up. Um, right. So soak some wood skewers if you use those. But um, for today, I'm using metal skewers because they're flat and okay. they go through the hot dog up at one end uh, or the brat very easily. And then okay. when you pick them up, you can turn them very easily as well. Okay. So, and, and just, out of, just out of curiosity. Yeah. 
just out of curiosity, how much does one of those big green, uh, green big green eggs cost? <laughs> yeah, so um, they are pretty expensive. Uh, it is an investment, I'll tell you that. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. This one that I'm cooking on right now is an extra large, uh, and they have just a large, which I have behind me. A large runs around $850. Uh, an extra large is about $1,200. Which is uh, not bad. That's not bad at mm -mm. all. Right. Well, mm -mm. they have a lifetime warranty. And so because it's ceramic, people are worried about them cracking. But if they crack, they replace it. They, they, it's a lifetime warranty on these oh, eggs. Man. So it's an you can't beat that, that. That really lasts. Uh, you cannot beat that. And it is a charcoal grill. I mean, you're, we're using lump charcoal. Um, and uh, we use a brand called Fogo. And uh, it's a Brazilian hardwood. And okay. it, it just you can burn it really high heat or really low and slow the the big green egg does it all uh, from grilling to smoking to baking um, you know its motto is the ultimate uh, cooking machine and that's exactly what it is so nicole I'm, me, I'm impressed i am I'm impressed i am so For tell me when all the cooking is over is the big green egg grill is that easy to clean well you know, that's kind of the neat thing uh, about this particular grill. Uh, it's, it is easy to clean. You can scrape your grate just like you would a normal grill. Okay. Um, but in order to really clean the inside of it, you can get it kind of a high, like 500 degrees for about an hour. And it's kind of like mm -hmm. a self-cleaning oven. It just kind of takes care of itself. Okay, and does it have like a grease trap that you can pull out to, to keep the, you know, from it attracting bugs and flies and things like that? So the, the egg is actually pretty much airtight. And so what happens, um, for example, I've got a, a load of charcoal in here that's going. Um, when I'm done cooking, I'll shut the vents down and it'll put the fire out. And because it's this lump charcoal, this is not briquettes. This is like a hardwood lump charcoal. Um, I can actually reuse the charcoal that's in there. And so next time, oh, okay. uh, in fact, I've already used this two times before lighting it today without adding any more charcoal to it. Uh, and so it, it's really airtight. So you don't have to worry about bugs or anything getting into it. Okay. So do you, do you do a lot of grilling? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we... Uh, oh, I mean, we're four to five nights a week, probably, if not more. <laughs> okay. And that's, so you I like to come in. Uh, in the winter time, huh? Oh yeah, in the winter. I mean, any time. That's the great thing about these ceramic grills because they're so well insulated that you can. I've I've uh, I've actually cleared away snow in order to open up my grill and, and fire it up. Mm. So. Now. Now, just for uh, just for those individuals, you know, we 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 know that you're totally blind. You you already uh, stated that, but a lot of people, and I've and I've heard what you stated because uh, I listened to your your channel and I heard you give the answer. Who who may say, well, man, this guy is doing all this grilling. He doesn't seem like he's blind. I can't believe him. What do you say to people like that? Go on, go on. You tell them what you said on your channel because it, yeah. it made a lot of sense. If you're looking, you ain't cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, yeah, that, that's what it was. It, you know, the thing about, if you go to anyone's home, um, if you watch some of our videos, because we, we actually provide these big green egg packages to um, blinded individuals, such as veterans and first responders who've lost their sight. And, um, you know, when I deliver these packages and I go to their homes, um, if you notice on video, I have to be led around and I have to be shown because I'm in an unfamiliar area. Mm -hmm. Whereas they don't look necessarily like they're visually impaired because we're at their home. Mm -hmm. well, exactly. When we're doing these videos, we're in my house, right? I know mm -hmm. where everything is. I am Thank so you. familiar with this area that I can move around fluidly and very efficiently. You get me outside of this area and, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit more clumsy and you can really tell, it's like, what, what's the matter with that guy? Is he blind or what? <laughs> you know? Okay. I there you yeah. go. That's what it is. Like, yeah, but when you're in your own that. house, I mean, this is my element. So I know exactly mm. where everything is. Thank you. Thank you. So well, now they know. Do me a favor and I want you to, to plug your site because I really want people who haven't subscribed to you yet to subscribe and see what you're cooking. 
So can you do that for me? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I appreciate it. So uh, youtube.com slash blind grilling. And that, you know, we do a lot of, a uh, lot of cooks for both the sided and the blind. We do a lot of tutorials about how to do things if you are visually impaired. But we do a lot of cooks, you know, um, that folks just uh, that love to grill would find very interesting and I think very helpful. Um, our website is blindgrilling.org. Uh, we are a 501c3 organization, and um, it's that way we can take donations, um, you know, that are tax deductible, and we can provide these packages to others who have suffered vision loss and help them to regain that independence that they may uh, think that they have lost. So wow. Quick, show us what we got cooking on the grill. That's what I was going to say, Nicole. You enough time to, um, Look, my co-host is so hungry. <laughs> she likes food. So I was going to ask that same question. So please show her the, 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 the sausage. Yeah. So we've got, we've got our brats and we've got our hot dogs on the grill right now. And uh, you know, they're going. Is that something like, like a Knoxworth? What's that? Is that something like a, like uh, a Knoxworth? Like, uh, I think a, like a Polish dog, Polish sausage yes. or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Very similar to like a Polish sausage. Yeah, absolutely. This is just beef and cheddar uh, in the casing instead of uh, some of the other uh, ingredients and spices, but uh, very similar. Yep. You know, kielbasa. Okay. Now, yeah, uh, yeah. Sausage and kielbasa are already cooked. These are not. These these uh, are raw, so they have to be cooked, not just heated up. Okay. okay. So that so the, no, you straight in a in a sausage. Out of curiosity, what do you put on your uh, your broth? Do you put um, mustard, ketchup? I, I do Chinese hot mustard. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like yeah. that. Yeah, I like that. I want to broth yeah. a Chinese hot mustard or a uh, uh, horseradish sauce. Horseradish, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll okay. do that. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what I prefer on my broths. Okay. Well, okay. well, you're making me hungry, Chris. Can you give yeah. us some words of encouragement? Because my, I think my, I hear my, my co-host's stomach growling, and when <laughs> I, and, and also email us one of those brats. Nicole, I'm gonna get one of those. I'm not gonna send you none. But give us some words of encourage. Give us and the audience some words of encouragement. Because we really thank you for coming on here, sharing what your story, and, and letting everybody know that hey, there is life after blindness. No matter what, you're not gonna, you, you don't let that bother you. You continue to do what you. Have. You have to do so give them some words of encouragement and my coach yeah. she'll close the show yeah absolutely and and again it's it, it is the, the very fact that don't give up you know don't stop there are, there are times when it is frustrating trust me i get that um but at the same time um you, you can't stop you know you can keep going and if there's something you love something you're passionate about you can find a way to get it done um and that's true it, 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 it can happen. And, and that's the great thing about the blind community, you know, um, and what you're doing, you are introducing so many people to uh, things that they probably thought they never would be able to do again. And it's, uh, there are those who are, have found a way and are trying to share that with others. And so, um, so reach out, you know, that's one reason I do the YouTube channel. That's one reason you're doing this. Uh, and uh, so reach out to us and we want to help and encourage you. And, and know that you do have a support system. Thanks a lot. Well, thank you, Chris, for showing us the green egg. And we wish you all the best in all the, the things that you are doing. And oh my God, you definitely, definitely um, probably just made some people's day today. And it smells so good. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm coming over with my sauerkraut. I told, well, I told you, I told you she was greedy. <laughs> she loved to eat, but definitely, Nicole, go on and close it out, sweetie. All right, everybody. I just want to say thank you again for subscribing to our show. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, put your comments in the comment section. Let us know whether you like us or you don't like us. Hit that notification bell so you can see every time we post out here on the Parker Daniel Show. And as always, we want to say we're here to make changes and no excuses. Mwah! Thank you, guys. All right. <laughs>